While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I know I got the color Christ white too. Is he black or white? Look, is Christ a black man or a white man? I know. Is this why we can't move ahead as a people? Because we got, we still got seventy-four year old elders, and I love and respect my elders, but we still got y'all seventy-four saying that Jesus Christ is transparent. Give me Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. First, he said, "Behold, my hands and my feet." Now, give me Daniel five real quick. God will tell you what color his hands and his feet is. Jesus Christ said, behold my hands and my feet. Because you're trying to say Jesus Christ is a spirit. If somebody coming to save you, how do you identify your savior if you don't even know what he looked like? Hold on, look. I'm going to show you something. Where we at? Where we at? I understand what you're saying. But guess what? He knew that Jesus Christ was a black man because the Jews is black. What color was the Jews? Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. You are brainwashed. With the Bible. You are brainwashed. This is, all right, this is Jeremiah 14 and 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Y'all got to take a break. Judah morning. It said Judah. Judah is what? One of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, right? Pop. Pop. Judah's one of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, right? All right, listen to this. Read. Judah mourned in the gates thereof languish. They are black. They are black. They are black. The Jews knew all the Jews was black. The Jews knew the prophecies. They knew that the prophecies is black. The good news. But what is the good news? Good news. What is the good news? What is the good news? Give me a scripture to teach me what the good news is. The gospel. Okay. I, I, what is the good news though? Turn to uh, uh, St. John, the first chapter, you can turn to St. John, the 14th chapter, you can turn to Jim. Pastor, listen, pastor, 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 listen, pastor, give me Luke 1, verse 6, day. You didn't make me call you that, I just know, I know you want to be a pastor. It's been happy, because greater is he, is he, than he. The book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Now look, this is the good news. I want you to hear what the good, because I asked you, Give me a script. See, this is the problem. Look, no, no. you could look. You could be right with what you're saying, but you can't give no understanding. I call you pastor, cause look, on the video it say false prophet getting spoke. The false pastor. I want everybody to know you is the pastor. You is the false prophet that's being exposed right now. Because you said I asked you what the good news was. You couldn't tell me what the good news is. We ask you how Christ look. You can't tell a, a pro the real prophets can tell you. All right, look, this is it. Was not John the Revelator? What, did not John the Revelator? Did he not tell you how Christ look? Did not Daniel, another prophet, was able to give you a description of how Christ look? When you go all throughout the Bible, look. When you read throughout the Bible, the different prophets that seen that said they seen Christ. They was able to give you a description of the Christ. No. All you said he was six feet tall no. and he was transparent. No. He was the color of the earth. That's what you said. Yeah. That's what you said. I got your own take, man. All right, what you say then? I said I seen it in a dream. I made it with All right, you seen him in a dream, and you said he was six feet tall and transparent. No, I didn't. I said he was about six feet two. So you just said that. That means you can be right or you can be wrong. You got it on camera. You said, hey, hey, Papa, we don't leave you alone, Papa. You, you better Because the man, hey, no, I ain't running, Papa. But you ain't answering no question with no scripture. The devil is a liar. Read that, read that, listen. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Bro, this is the good news. Oh, look, since you want to be a teacher, you need to be taught again. You stay right here and be taught. Since you sit up, see, now you don't want, now you running. Oh, you don't want to be taught. Oh, now you running now. Oh, so now when it's time to be taught, Oh, you right? Listen here, let's teach. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who is he the Lord God of? Who is he the Lord God? Yeah, I've been born again. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up and home. I'm going to answer that next. First, first, I got to teach you what the good news is. Read. And hath raised up and horn of salvation for us in the house of our servant, of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. This is the good news. This is the good news, Reed. That we should be saved from our enemies. This is the good news.
good news that we should be saved from our enemies. Who is the enemies that Israel is to be saved from? Who is the enemies? It's, hold on, read that again with us. That we should be saved from our enemies. Enemies. Who are our enemies? Enemies. Who are our enemies? Read that again. That we should be saved from our enemies. Who are our enemies? Who are, I'm out. I'm, I'm our enemies. I'm, I'm our enemies. I'm reading the Bible. Where your Bible at? You ain't read one Bible verse yet. Read that again. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Who hate us? Who hate Israel? Lay down his life so we can be saved from our enemies and from all that hate us. Now your next question, have I been born again? I love you. Give me first Peter chapter 1 verse 23. How do I know I've been born again? I'm going to show you how I know I've been born again. First Peter chapter 1 and I think I'm on verse 23. The book of First Peter chapter 1 and verse 23. Being born again. Say, being born again, read. Not a corruptible seed. Not a corruptible seed. What does it mean to be born again a corruptible seed? What is corruptible seed? What is corruptible seed? What is the corruptible seed? What is the corruptible seed? Hey, devil, you alive. You devil, you alive. Yeah, you the devil, you lying. Read. Not of corruptible seed. It say not being born again, not of cor corruptible seed. Read this. But of incorruptible. Now, so what is it? How are we born again of incorruptible? What it means to be incorruptible. Read that again. But of incorruptible by the word of God. By the word of God. I'm born again by the word of God. Look, notice, I'm filled with the word. You're not filled. Hey, give him a Bible. Give him a Bible. Why come you don't got no bird at all? Why come you don't got no bird at all? You was on your way to the stove? Your bird in your heart. What you say? Ah, oh, you say that's Jesus? Now look, what in the Bible do it say Jesus look like this? Huh? Give him a Bible, y'all. He's scared of the Bible. Now, Jesus is a black man according to the Bible. Did you know that? Look, I'm going to show you something. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. And look, I want to see if you still think this Jesus before you leave. Please. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now look, it said his head and his hairs were white like wool. What people got woolly hair on the planet Earth? Black people, read on. As white as snow. He said his head and his hair were white as wool. His hair was white and woolly. His hair is talking about his bird. That's old Quaker English for bird. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he said his eyes was as a flame of fire. Now listen, read. And his feet. And his feet, read. Like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. He said his feet like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace. What color is Jesus Christ? What color is fine brass? What color? Is... Oh man. John the Revelator said his arms and his feet is like fine brass that's burnt in a furnace. Now look, I'm going to show you why y'all people keep saying y'all never seen Jesus. Give me 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. I know. So look, this one I ate. Hey, mama, mama, I want to understand, mama. How come you say he white at first? Then we bring out that he black. You saying you never seen him. <laughs> huh? So he black? So is he black? Or bronze? He bronze or bronze? Okay, if you say he bronze, it's a derivative of brown. Jesus Christ is a dark skinned man, a dark skinned black man, or a brown skinned man according to the Bible. Mama, and see that's the problem. Mama first said he white. Then when we gave the black description of him, she said, oh hell, nobody never seen him. Now she confused and say, oh well, he Bronx color. Brass or Bronx is a derivative of brown. The book of John chapter 14 verse 26 and verse 16. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse 26. But the comforter. But the comforter. Listen. You said, what do that got to do with us being born again? Listen, read. But the comforter. But the comforter, read. Who is the comforter? Who is the comforter? Who is the comforter? Who is the comforter? Read. Who is the Holy Ghost? No, it is now. The comforter is Jesus Christ. See, I got you. Hey, I got you this time. Cause look, I'm gonna tell you, look, I'm gonna tell you how I know I got you. Jump up to verse 17. Verse, verse 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Verse 18. I will Christ said, I read. I will not leave you comfortless. Christ said, I will not leave you comfortless, read. I will come to you. He said, I will come to you. So jump down to verse 26, read. Verse 26. But the comforter, Christ said, he is the comforter. He will come to us, Reed. Which is the Holy Ghost. Christ is the Holy Ghost. He's the spirit that put the word in us to be born again, to be filled with his word. Read. Whom the Father will sit in my name, he shall teach you all things. Christ is the one that teaches us all things. That's how we know that Christ is black. Because he put it, Christ came to us, put his spirit on us, and did what, Reed? He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to bring all things to your remembrance, read. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Because a lot of people thought that this was Jesus Christ at one time. He said, I'm going to bring all things to your remembrance, what you have said unto you. Well, you, you didn't want. I'm going to show you why. Get verse John 3 and 4. Sin is the breaking and violating the God law. No bird, you breaking and violating God law. Having your hand on while the, while the Bible is being read, you break it in the Bible of God law. Read on. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Because you, you keep... All right, give me Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 28. 27, ye shall not round the corners of your head. Round the corners, of, take your head off. No. Let me see the corners of your head. You round the corners of your head, Reed. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. You have destroyed your beard. You have destroyed your face. Matter of fact, where's your mustache, Papa? Papa, you are an elder in the community, Papa. Was your, what, was your uh, hair on your head? Was your beard and your mustache? Look, he had marred the corner of his round the corner of his beard so much it didn't turn red. Read on. The book of Leviticus. Hey, get an up close shot of that. How it turned red. He had round the corner of his beard so much it didn't turn red. Let them see you in the camera. You done destroyed it. God said, don't do that. You the one told me to show your sin. Now I'm showing it to you upset. Don't get upset, man. So you thought you were going to wear me now. I'm wearing you now. Now he's like, oh, damn, I messed up. Read on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. God said, don't do that. Why you doing it? Why are you a sinner? Why you doing it? We talk about your sin. I'm going to show you. Give me that in Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 20. I'm going to show you. Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. I'm going to show you something. But look, I'm a sinner, but I repent of my sins. Not you, though. Yeah, no, you ain't repent. Where your bird? Why you balling your head? Where your friends? Why you breaking the Sabbath? Do you eat pork? Pork? Yeah, you eat pork? Why you eat pork? You ain't repenting yet. No, you are the full prophet that everybody's looking at right now. You have exposed yourself in front of all these people. Everybody in Chicago, all the, all the young men in Chicago are going to find out today that you are a liar, man. Because you, you know God? Do you know God? Do you know God? Yeah, I know him, but do you know him? I know you don't know my God. If you knew my God, you'd have a burden on your face. Right. If you knew my God, you would work friends. Right. If you knew my God, you would be standing out here telling our people who they are, telling them to repent and keep the commandments of God. You don't know God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. 
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.